Hello Play The Games, this is Booty2 here and welcome back to Play The Game Central and I have another map idea to pose to you, the community, and enjoy at your leisure and imagine it in your own little heads and see what you think of it. So, we're starting off in this map as a Victorian slash medieval style um, map, so it's old timey and it's inside of a city and... I kind of got that thought into my head because there's a new Thief game coming out and I replayed some of the Thief series games and obviously that is one of my favourite game series of all time and so I kind of got into thinking what if this kind of um, area was zombie infested and you had to kill all that stuff so that's where that originated from but we're in a medieval old time city and it's got a style which is very similar to Buried and Origins in that there are open streets um, and some barricades which are strewn around, and some buildings of importance which you buy in order to get into. But um, that's the layout generally. Uh, just to keep that into your head, just imagine buried for now, but with a different aesthetic into a more old timey English kind of aesthetic. But in this uh, kind of time period, the Black Death is lingering around, and it was shown to have some zombie style side effects and the king or queen whatever ruler at the time was consulted by a 935 agent which was sent back in time in order to investigate the zombie strain in order to uh, you know adopt it and then find a way to counter it and manipulate it and all different kinds of things and this uh, 935 agent could be ricked off and it could be Maxis, it could be something that Schuster or Gruff went back in time to do at some point for a mission or something, but um, basically he consults a 935 agent, the king, and experiments and examinations begin secretly um, under like the hierarchy of Great Britain. And unfortunately, the people of the land found out about all of this stuff happening because there were people that were going missing, bodies magically disappearing, all that different kind of thing. And they found the guy who was experimenting with them in the sewers underneath the city, which were also constructed not for sanitation, but it was a sanitation thing was to cover up, whereas it was actually designed for a hidden place for the guy to experiment, so it's kind of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, if I'm thinking about that. Um, but they all thought that it was all black magic and witchcraft, and so they mutilated his body and obviously killed him, and then hung it from the church, and that is very plainly seen as soon as you spawn him. Um, you see the body just on the church. Horrible and disgusting. Um... And this map is going to be no power, it's going to be including the blood system, or the kill system, which I made in a previous video, or in a future video, it depends on which one of these go up first, but um, you've either heard of that, or will hear of that, so um, there's that, or it's the blood system, whatever. But the one area, there's completely few different areas, there are, uh, there's a pub, there's some sewers, there's an escaped prison, there's uh, torture rooms and cells inside that escaped prison, um, there's church and all different kinds of um, different kinds of buildings and such, and there also could be a well which you could fall down into, just a side note, um, but we're going to start off with the ye old pub, and the pub has the new perk in it, and it's going to be called Bubo Stew, which is the only thing I could really think of. And Bubos were a condition which was put on people's bodies when they were infected with the plague, and it costs 2,500 points. And what it does is that when you're remaining completely still, you will gain a similar effect to the scavenger gas for five seconds. Um, and so it kind of like nerfs that a little bit because I think that scavenger, most people would agree, is a little bit too good even for 3,000 points, which isn't that much if you think about it. Um, but we're going to take one element of that and make it the uh, scavenger gas. And that lasts for about five seconds if you just remain completely still and don't touch anything. You can't jump, look around, move or anything. Um, but it's a very, very slow replenishing time. Or you can buy it again and it'll refill it instantly. Um, and the replenishing time is going to take like at least five minutes. So, you know, if you are in a very troubling situation and the zombie's about to kill you, just completely stand still and then they'll absolutely leave you alone. Which would be um, an interesting feature. Um, I think so. So there's the pub. He's got an upstairs. Just think about the um, the bar in transit, for example. Just think about that. 
And one thing which I should probably mention is that if you want to get an idea for the aesthetic of this map, um, it's one of the... It's the main picture which was in transit. There was quite a few cuts of the picture all up into different portraits, but there's a link in the description which will show you the picture with the whole idea which I'm going on about. It's kind of like a hellish city burning, that kind of thing. So it's um, disgusting and horrible down there. Um, but there's that. So the next part that we're going to be talking about is the sewers, and it was installed by the 9305 agent, as I said, to... Um, cover up his experiments under the guise of sanitation and it was also a very easy breeding ground for um, the plague victims because obviously you're in a tube full of shit and piss and you're going to get infected with something if you stay around there so um, that was something about the sewers. There's lots of different offshoots you can go in, it's kind of maze-like down there, um, probably have different things just hidden around because I think that the maze system, which they had in Shangri-La and also buried, was very good. And I think that a good idea would be to have more stuff inside of the maze and it changes positions, like every now and then. So Pack-a-Punch will be on one side, then it'll move on to another side, into another hidden area, and then other st kind of stuff like that. Um, but there's that with the sewers, and then, as I said, there's an escape prison, tor torture cells... Um, all different kinds of things like that, which I haven't really gone too much into detail in. Um, just imagine Mob of the Dead, I guess. Um, and so that's the basic map layout and the perk and all that kind of stuff. So the next thing which I thought about was I remember seeing something again about Fear 3. And in Fear 3, there is a multiplayer mode which is called Fucking Rum. And in that, there is a kind of black mist which will follow you, and if you get caught in the black mist, you will die. And so I wanted to incorporate that into this, and basically there's going to be a plague which will sweep through the map, um, probably once or twice every round, just to make it so that you keep on moving, and so you can't just be training in one area, you have to move into a different area, a more difficult area, to escape the plague, because if you get caught in it, then you will die. So that's something which will change things up a little bit. And the next area which we're going to be talking about is the church, and in the church there is a uh, thing which you have to do in order to get a holy water special grenade, and it's going to be somewhat like the Sliquifier in that you throw it at a horde of zombies and then they will basically just all melt um, into lovely little goo. Um, and so there's all of that, and that's, that is officially the map layout and all the, the entire design. And... So the next thing is a special boss round, and what I want to do with the boss rounds now is to make them actual boss rounds, because you get dogs which spawn every five rounds on some maps, and that's not really too difficult if you have a shotgun and juggernog, it's absolutely nothing. So I wanted to make a really difficult um, change of pace, and make it an actual boss kind of thing, which probably could happen once every ten rounds or something like that. Um... But first off, what happens is that there will be a bunch of imps which will spawn in the area and they'll basically just throw mud at you, causing a little bit of damage and also blurring your vision. Once you kill all of those, the next wave that comes are hellhounds. And the different thing is, is that they're much slower than the previous ones which we know and love. And because you have a blurred vision from the imps, you need to listen for them more than looking for them. So um, you have to listen out for them attacking because it's hard to see and then another thing to follow that up is to have the four horsemen of the apocalypse which will come out and they will roam the map outside until the end of the next round and they will hunt you so imagine that in buried where you couldn't train in front of the saloon or outside the jail you had to go into a building and stay there until they went away because if you go out there and they find you they will do a lot of damage to you and maybe just take away perks or instantly down you or take away guns or different kinds of things that they could do and you can kill them by shooting them just like George Romero but it will take a very 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 long time um, if you're just imagining they're all George Romero's but you can defeat them instantly and forever through special means and by that I mean stuff like um, if you get the holy water uh, grenade and you throw it at the um, death guy, then he will just melt, and if you want to beat the guy uh, called... I can't remember what all four of them called. There's War, Conquests, 
plague, pestilence, or whatever that is, the famine, let's call it that, and 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 the other dude, and he's great. But for famine, for example, uh, let's just imagine that you have to collect um, food and water and all different kinds of things, and you have to attack him with that in order for him to be completely defeated. For conquests, which conquest is basically charge and take over things you have to be you have to beat him at his own game so you have to buy like a legendary lance or something and you have to attack him and then you have to destroy him with your magical stick and for war you just have to defeat him with overwhelming firepower with the most powerful weapons in the game and you know i wanted to ben also contributed to this idea if there's four horsemen and there's four players that should be interesting because then you can make it so that each player suits up in a certain way in order to defeat the uh, horseman of the apocalypse. And you know you can't just like have a sh- sh- uh, um, two different things which can defeat two of the horsemen for one person. It has to be one person individually, one at a time, or something like that. And the more players you have, the more horsemen there will be. So if you have four players, there will be four horsemen. If you get just one person, it'll just be one random guy. So you have to. Find out who it is first, and you have to arm up to defeat them through special means. Um, So that is about it for that map idea. Um, That's all I have for you. So keep it in your hands, let that circle around a little bit. If you have any ideas in order to improve this or any additional things that you'd like to um, add to this idea, let me know in the comments section below. And also remember to leave a like rating, be so kind as to do so. And subscribe if you're not subscribed already, because it is play the game, obviously. And if you do enjoy these map theory ideas, also let me know in the comment section, and remember to like the video, obviously. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.